One of my favorite artists that I worked with was Rick James. The one thing he kind of, you know, yelled at us later about was the famous skit that you see everywhere. I'm Rick James. And he's like, I should get paid. And that's going to be the opening to this entire segment. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sue Jada Murthy. I'm the Executive Vice President of Media and Artist Relations at Universal Music Enterprises. I'm here for a biz break. I got my first start at Capitol Records, coincidentally, through a family friend named Oscar Menon. Oscar Menon at the time was the head of Capitol Records. Um, he was a guiding light in my career, and to this day, I always try and follow his example. I started at Capitol Records during the beginning of the CD boom, working with artists that were being put on CD for the first time. Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, Peggy Lee, the Andrew Sisters, and the list goes on. Although I didn't know it at the time, I think music was my natural path. My parents were big supporters of the arts, and in fact, my grandfather used to be a music critic on the side. He had a real job, but then on the side, all these musicians would come and do shows for him and he would critique it. One of my first shows in Texas growing up, we used to go to shows all the time. My first show was Adam Ant and In Excess opened for Adam Ant at that time. From there it was Cheap Trick, it was you know the Texas Jam with all these rock bands. Um, I saw The Who on their farewell tour like 20 plus years ago. Fast forward to sitting here in this chair and working with all these artists that I saw in high school, including KISS. I've also worked with rap artists from the early days, um, including Easy e back then. Um, and we would meet for burgers at the little um, burger place next to Capitol Records. But um, one project that I loved doing with him was we did a tribute to Curtis Mayfield. And so we ended up spending a lot of time together working on that project, doing promotions, doing interviews, and he was just lovely to work with. I love that AAPI, you know, highlights um, executives and the staff at various companies because it does bring to light how many more there are of us. Uh, when I started, um, a lot of people, Asians in the music industry, were relegated to sort of finance or accounting. Um, sort of stereotypically, oh, you're good at math, you're good at finance, you know. But they were never thought of creative as creatives. With Oscar breaking, breaking the ceiling first, being very artist-centric, artist-focused, and then, you know, various other executives com coming up, including me, myself, um, I'm seeing more and more uh, Asian executives and staff kind of joining record labels and doing it their own way. I got the She Rocks Award that is presented during the NAM convention, and that was amazing to be recognized by my peers and some other artists as well. And then the second one is the HAL Award, and that was presented um, by a committee, and it's an organization that Janie Bradford from Motown um, started years ago, and I was given one of or one award at the very last HAL Awards. And it's truly special to me because it is presented by the various Motown artists. And I've worked with Motown for, you know, 20 plus years. And I absolutely adore working with Barry Gordy and all the artists, including Smokey Robinson, The Temptations, Mary Wilson, The Tops, and more. Being recognized uh, as an Indian in Hollywood or an Indian in the music industry, I think I bring some of uh, the things that I was taught as, as a child and growing up. Always treating people with respect, always treating people with dignity, and always um, helping people out along the way. Because if uh, success is a, is a team effort, and it's not ever just one person. So I think bringing that cultural aspect uh, to my career has really helped.